Hello and welcome to the Edvard Munch exhibition at Tate Modern in London. Munch is usually thought of as a painter of the late 19th century, but in fact he spent most of his career in the 20th. And the point this exhibition keeps trying to make is that long after the screen was finished, Munch continued to paint and to do interesting and modern things. What they're really trying to do in this show is to take Munch out of the 19th century and into the 20th. So in this room, you see paintings from both ends of Munch's career, from early on and late. It's the same image done in different ways. Famous images of his, like the kiss, the vampire, and one of my favorites, the girls on a bridge, which captures so perfectly the twilight mystery of Munch's native Norway. A key part of this presentation of Munch as a 20th century artist is an attempt throughout the show to introduce his photography and his film and to show him using these as an influence over and over again. And in this room in particular, we see the impact of movement on Edvard Munch. We see him looking up at crowds as they rush towards him. And all the way through, this capturing of movement, a quintessential modern ambition, is the focus of the room. In 1908, Munch had a nervous breakdown. And all the way through the show, I think you can feel the pressure on his imagination that reality seemed to exert. You're not really in the presence of someone who's totally sane, at least not in the usual way. The exhibition finishes on a wonderful room, a room filled with self-portraits painted at different phases of Monk's career. In each picture, he looks a little bit different, as if there isn't one monk here, but a dozen of them. So it's Monk, the cocktail maker. Monk, who looks a bit like, I don't know, an aging Marlon Brando, perhaps. Monk as a kind of Giacometti figure, disappearing almost in the uprights of his own room. This is an intriguing show. I'm not sure it succeeds entirely in rehabilitating all of Munch's late work. There are pictures here which I think don't really survive this close an examination. But the show as a whole is fascinating, full of such energy and interesting thinking, and above all, dominated by this edgy, neurotic, insistent presence of this curious genius who was Edvard Munch.